is the mount. This is the tray. And this is the telescope. Let's just bring them out. This is the eyepieces, hand controls, uh, finder scope, battery, diagonal, compass, caps, it's all the accessories. Is this it's just empty? Yeah, empty box to hold there's a spacer. Another empty box. I suppose the, the guide was inside like this control. So the telescope is here, which we will bring it out later. But I need a tripod first. Oh, that's a tripod. Okay, let's just see what is here. Hmm, a tripod. Let's just adjust this tripod. Okay, what I suppose is that I have to extend the legs. Mm -hmm. So the tripod is there, now I put the mount on it, which is this. I have to use both hands. So tripod and the mount. Now I need to bring the actual uh, telescope. But before that I will rise the um, tripod a little bit higher. Or should I? No, probably not. This is the telescope, which is a 4 inch one, refractor, and the other half of the mount bracket, so I have to install that. So the telescope tube optical assembly is now installed. I have to attach the diagonal and the eyepiece. So the diagonal and the eyepiece are here. Now I need the eyepiece. So should be a 26 millimeter eyepiece. Yeah, that's it. 26 millimeter, which is a quite wide angle for this kind of applications. Now let me put this here. Uh huh. Eyepiece completely should be placed in. Now a super plus old eyepiece, which is a really good eyepiece, is placed here. It's a Mead 4000 uh, uh, DB, or DS super plus old, uh, eight, 26 millimeter eyepiece, made in China. So, now that's ready. The only thing remaining is to adjust it for the reception of the thing. But let me just have a look through it without anything. But first of all, I have to remove the eyepiece, the lens cap. That's the lens as it looks. Okay, let's see how the image looks through this eyepiece and the telescope. Well, let's look at the farther than that uh, fruits and the leaves. Okay, that was a view to the 
mid uh, refractor, four inch refractor. And we were looking at those uh, trees at the distance and the gap between the trees. This is one of these parasitic uh, plants which grows on other trees, on the branches of them in the air. Uh, people think they are nests and they are very common in England. And they have those uh, white berries you see there, now down the center. And I'm looking through the mead uh, telescope. This is the mead, uh, the name of this is the mead uh, DS. 2102ATTC, which is a 4 inch 102 millimeter telescope, refractor telescope. It has a guider which I have to add battery yet, but I've go and bring it. And it's quite nice, lightweight, not heavy, good aperture. Nice view, even with this plus hole, it gives a good view. I can add uh, any other eyepiece that I have, especially wide angle ones, really will be bringing up to its uh, all this glory. I noticed that the eyepiece is almost half the optical tube assembly of a telescope. And this is the mid refractor, 102 millimeter one, uh, installed on the mount. I'm using different eyepieces. This is the 10 millimeter Bother Classic Ortho. And the target. Is a moon. Okay, the Saturn and Jupiter conjunction is on the way to today. It's just one day they can get closer more than this. I'm using the refractor, mid 102 millimeter refractor with a um, the eyepiece that is the um, SP1 aspheric 62 degrees 23 millimeter eyepiece. Let's see how it looks. The distance between the Saturn, angular distance between the Saturn and the Jupiter is less than the distance of the angular distance of the Galilean, last Galilean satellite, that is Callisto. Just so close. That was the view. It's amazing and it's quite visible. It's dark now and uh, you can see the distance between the Callisto, which is the farthest of the Galilean satellites, to the Jupiter is actually a little bit more than the distance, angular distance of the Saturn. So quite, quite close, quite close. 800 years uh, ago, such a close conjunction you know, it means close being close together of these two planets happened and now we have another one
Okay, now I'm using the uh, Bader Classic Ortho. Let's see how the view looks with this eyepiece, 10 millimeter eyepiece. And I think the brightest Galilean satellite you can see is Ganymede. Tiny star beside the Jupiter to the right of Jupiter. Yeah, you see it now. Right gone. Uh, it's the camera that I'm holding. Okay, this is the Mead uh, 102 refractor acromat, and I'm using the Butter Classic Ortho 10 mm eyepiece. I'm just holding the camera at the eyepiece. Mm-hmm. 